This is the high-vis Griffiths net. Now it's going to be a lot like the traditional Griffiths net, but we're going to tie in a red parachute to make it a little more visible. Now Griffiths nets work really well. What they represent in springtime is more of a cluster of midges, a group of usually midges that are mating on the water surface. Now the first thing I like to do is I put the thread on the hook and I like to leave the tag in. I don't clip it off. We're going to use it here shortly. Next I'm going to go ahead and tie in a little bit of peacock curl. Now this is a size 14. You can tie Griffiths gnats anywhere from, I like them in size 14s down to size 20s. just depends on what exactly you're going for. Um, but the bigger sizes for the midge clusters, 14s and 16s, I really like. Uh, sometimes, you know, trout like bigger mills and that represents a fairly good size mill. So we're going to tie in the peacock and then we're going to take some grizzly hackle now it's got a shiny side and a side that's not as shiny. We're going to go ahead and tie this shiny side up. It's important so that it lays out the direction we like it to. Go ahead and take the thread to the front of the hook just behind the eye. Now what I like to do is put just a little bit of head cement to make it a little more durable so that that hackle feather doesn't pull out. Then we're going to take this peacock and the tag end of thread that we didn't clip off. Now we're going to take it and we're going to wrap it around the peacock. Now what that's going to do for us, it's going to make this fly a little more durable, but it's also going to make it a little bit easier to tie this peacock on the body of this hook. You only need to go up about an inch or so. And go ahead and work it on up. That's right behind the eye of the hook. Now don't crowd that eye or this fly becomes like all flies, difficult to finish. I'm going to tie this peacock off with a couple of snug wraps. I like to put one in front just to cinch it down. Now we're going to go and wrap our thread back to the middle of the fly. This is where we're going to tie our parachute on. Now I'm just using a little bit of red parapost, but you can use poly yarn, parapost, whatever you have that's a bright color that's going to help you see this fly a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around the base of our parapost. Put a few wraps around it. And also a few wraps around the post and the fly at an angle both in front and behind. Now we're going to take this thread back behind the eye. Put another half inch in. Now we're going to take our hackle and we're going to work it up, up the fly. A few turns behind the parachute and a few turns in front of it, once again not crowding the eye. And you can clip this off before or after. I like to leave it so I can, I can clip it off to be about the height of the hackle. Which, that's the way I like it, but either way. Get that hackle in there nice and snug so it doesn't unravel after a few fish. Then we're going to go ahead and whip finish it. Now any unwanted hackles that are kind of sticking out, out the front, I just clip off just to make it a little more, a little bit prettier. Then I'm going to take this parachute make it kind of small. And then another thing that I like to do with this fly is I like to trim off some of these bottom hackle fibers. That way when it's on the water it's going to ride with the parachute up. Now from the bottom view the fish is going to see just a bunch of grizzly hackle and peacock that's going to look like a cluster of midges. I'm going to put a little head cement and that's it. That is our basic high-vis Griffiths net that's going to be a great time, great springtime fly. It's going to catch a lot of fish. But another thing I like to do with this fly as I actually like to use it as a lead fly and I'll drop a midge pupa off the back end and it'll act as an indicator. It'll also catch a lot of fish but that pupa even when fish appear to be rising a lot of times they're sipping pupas and it's going to be very effective.